Creative writing. What is creative writing? Creative writing is an artistic way of writing. It displays your power to imagine, your command over the language and your style of presenting the facts. Before we understand creative writing, let's learn some general tips for writing. Organize your thoughts, come up with an appropriate and appealing title and then begin with an interesting and appropriate introduction. This would draw the attention of the readers and hold their curiosity. Maintain your write-up within the prescribed length. If you have to write around 200 words, it could be slightly less than 200 or slightly more than 200, but not a great difference between the prescribed length and your write-up. Keep your language simple and crisp. Avoid using complicated and difficult words unnecessarily. Do not deviate yourself from the theme. Use proper punctuation and correct spellings. Present the facts or your ideas in a systematic manner, ensuring the smooth flow of the write-up. Maintain the continuity of the facts and ideas in a logical way. Avoid messy way of presenting facts. Do not just write for the content to be read, but write to make the readers feel the content. How do you make the readers feel the content? For example, I was hungry could be written as I had hunger pangs. I felt low and needed something to eat. I was scared could be written as my hands turned numb with fear. A chill wave ran through my body. This artistic way of writing would help in maintaining the interest of the readers. Let's learn something more about creative writing. Write a composition around 200 words using the given instructions. What are the instructions? Some words are given below. Read those words carefully. Associate them with a particular theme. Think about the write-up based on that theme. Then begin with your write-up based on that theme. Make sure that you include the given words in the write-up. Your write-up should be around 200 words. Now, Before you begin the write-up, read the tips that are given. Now let's have a look at the given words. Hustle and bustle, prayers, decorations, sweets, tradition, culture, joy, celebrations, festive, values. Now I'm sure something is going on in your mind. These words are speaking a lot. So Design a theme in your mind and think what you have got to write. Let's see an example of the composition using the given words. The title of the composition is Incredible India. Now let us read the composition. India is a treasure house of varied tradition blended with its unique culture. 
Festivals are an integral part of our life. We Indians are blessed with the privilege to enjoy different festivals. Some of the prominent Indian festivals are Diwali, Ganesh Chaturthi, Navratri, etc. where the entire atmosphere is vibrant and full of hustle and bustle. There is joy all around during festivals. During festive occasions, people buy new clothes or some accessories to mark the occasion. Sweets are prepared at home and exchanged with the near and dear ones. Decorations, prayers, feast, etc. form a part of the festive atmosphere. Nature is also a part of our family. Celebrations should be in confluence with the nature. We should not harm mother nature while we celebrate festivals. Every festival that we celebrate has a history with some culture and values associated with it. We must take utmost care to celebrate every festival in the right sense preserving its historical traditional and cultural values festivals bring in a sense of unity foster brotherhood promote and preserve cultural heritage celebrations of festivals are the most precious asset for mankind and it should be done in the right the points to be noted here are all the given words are included in it and the composition also attempts to inculcate some values in the readers you just read a composition that was written using the given words now let us see another way of presentation a short story that is written using the given words Now here's a short story written using the given words the title of the story is share and care the story reads as below wow what a lovely bicycle i was waiting to have this since a long time but i wish to donate this to an orphanage we could donate this to the most sincere and hard working orphan in the orphanage this would motivate the other orphans to learn and grow well gargi was bubbling with joy as she spoke these words gargi's parents were very happy to hear her decision next morning they visited the nearby orphanage The warden was pleased to know about Gargi's decision of donating her new bicycle to the orphanage. When she asked Gargi the reason behind her decision, Gargi smiled and said, "I am blessed to have parents who bring some sweets or gifts of my choice on every festive occasion. There is joy all around in my house. But what about these friends of mine who are staying here?" celebrations decorations prayers hustle and bustle all this is limited in the surroundings so i decided to share my joy with them and see that beautiful smile on their face too we indians are well known for our rich culture and tradition which has instilled rich values in us and always taught us that sharing is caring You have seen two examples of a write up for a given set of words. The first one was a general text titled Incredible India and the second one was a short story titled Share and Care. Both were framed using the same set of words. This needs your creative skills that is your power to imagine your presentation skills and your ability to include values or some message to the society that's creative writing
we now have two questions for you two activities wherein you are given some words with different themes so read those words associate them with the possible theme and write two different compositions follow the given instructions before you proceed with the composition two interesting activities are given below each slide contains some words which are related to some theme read those words carefully associate the words given in each slide with a particular theme think about the write up based on each of the theme then begin your write up based on the theme make sure that you include the given words in each of your write up each of your write up should be around 200 words use the given tips in each of your write up your first question your first activity the given words are drip torrential soak shower splash drizzle droplets deluge drench dark so you know what these words are associated with Let's have a look at the second set of words for your second composition your activity 2 the words are classroom pandemic technology teachers exams fear online lockdown school google i'm sure there is something running in your mind so good luck for your two compositions enjoy writing